Starting next week, we have one of the biggest tournaments on the tennis calendar, the US Open, the final slam of the four slams for the year, and it's a big deal. Big names play this every single year, and it's worth a lot of prize money and a lot of points. We're going to talk about everything you need to know about the US Open for 2022, a little bit of its history and what to expect over the next few weeks. So the event started back in 1881, and when it first started, for the first six years, it was only men that would play the tournament. And in 1887, the women were allowed to play as well at the Newport Casino in Rhode Island, which is now now home to the Hall of Fame Open that happened after Wimbledon. It was originally on a grass court and was held there up until 1914. From 1914 to 1977, it moved to the Westside Tennis Club, also a grass court club. But in 1975 to 1977, the US Open was actually a clay court event. And then in 1978, it moved to the USTA Tennis Center is where the home is now. And it's been played on hard court ever since, a slower hard court than places like the Australian Open. And we all know that the US Open has used a tiebreaker in the final set to decide matches, but it was actually the first tournament to use the tiebreak back in 1970. And in 2006, it was the first Grand Slam to adopt Hawkeye to review all its line calls and have a replay, which is now common for all of us, you know, 16 years down the track. So of course, as I mentioned before, this is one of the biggest tournaments on the planet. We have the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and the US Open, one of the big four. And Daniel Medvedev and Emma Raducanu are the defending champions of this event. In the Open era, there are three men that hold five US Open trophies, which is the most out of anybody in the Open era. Jimmy Connors, Pete Sampras and Roger Federer with Roger Federer being the only player to win five consecutive US Opens. On the ladies side in the Open era, two ladies hold six US Opens, which is the most out of anybody. Chris Ebbett and of course Serena Williams who might be playing her last US Open. So her last chance to get her seventh if she can have another dream run. So the venue itself is in New York City, New York in America. The event itself is actually held at the Billie Jean King Tennis Center, which has 22 outdoor hard courts all category two hard courts, making them a medium slow court and 12 extra courts outside of the grounds, with its biggest stadium being the Arthur Ashe Stadium, which holds 23,700 people, and a retractable roof, which is the largest tennis stadium in the world. Its second stadium is Louis Armstrong Stadium, which holds 14,000 people, also with a retractable roof. And the third biggest court is the Grandstand, which holds 8,100 people, but doesn't have a retractable roof. All courts are going to have Hawkeye in them, including the outside courts, and it's got to have automatic line calls as well, like we've seen for the most part of the US Open Tour, so no lines people at the event. Now, being one of the biggest tournaments in the world, the draw is massive. We have 128 players playing in the main draw for the men and the women with 16 qualifiers and eight wild cards based on last year's tournament. 32 seeds in each event and no one gets a buy in the first round, which makes it unique to most other tournaments. When it comes to the points distribution, from the quarterfinals onwards, it is worth a lot of points. On the men's side, for a quarterfinal, you get 360 points. For a semifinal, you'll get 720 points. If you make the final, you get 1,200 points. And if you win the whole event, you'll get two thousand points. On the women's side, a quarterfinal will get you 430 points. Semi-final will get you 780 points. If you make it to the final, you get 1300 points. And just like the men, if you reach the final, you get 2000 points. So as all the Grand Slams have these days, it's equal prize money for both men and women. Starting with the first round, if you lose in the first round of the US Open, you'll get $75,000. If you make it to the second round, you'll win $115,000. A third round appearance will get you $180,000. The fourth round will get you $265,000. If you make it to the second week in the quarterfinals, you'll get $425,000. A semi-final will get you $675,000. You make it all the way to the final, you'll get $1.25 million. And if you win the whole event, you'll get $2.5 million. And that's the same for the men and the women at this slam. So the US Open, a massive event on the calendar, the last Grand Slam of the year, and a very, very big tournament. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes. And we've got some players that are defending a lot of points, of course. We've got the draw ceremony and the draw preview coming up in the next couple of days. So make sure you sign up and join in for that. But I want you to tell me, who do you think is going to win this event? We've got a lot of players that are playing in this event. It's very hard to pick a slam from the start, but I want to see if you guys can get it. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the men and women's event for 2022?